What is up, everybody? It's Demigod. You know what time it is. It's time for a little bit of hustle with Demigod. New episode today, guys. We finally, after a long, boring time frame, we've got our update. And now we have Clan Wars. We've got all sorts of new features, guys. We're gonna go over all of them. We're gonna be discussing how to win at these clan wars, where you wanna place, um, you know, what everything does. So let's jump into the uh, first thing I wanna talk about, which is glory. All right. So glory can obviously be obtained um, tons of different ways. It can be obtained from PvP battles, can be obtained from your tournament battles and it can be obtained from doing the clan wars um, anything basically with you fighting um, and earning anything the valor is the star the blue star here so it's in the middle category um, over here to the left we have donations um, so this is how many times this person has donated to somebody else in the clan um, which as you can see is a great way for you to keep track of who's active um, especially with the Valor as well if they just have zero donations and zero Valor you might want to give them the boot because they ain't giving you no help in this clan um, and that's really what this is all about it's all about teamwork right so something you guys should all try if you're in your own clan and you have um, make the rules or something like that what I found have worked so far with my clan is I set times on our clan wars so as you can see here it says wars will be twice a day Eastern Standard Time 12 to 2 p.m. and again at 7 to 9 p.m. so please check in at those times to enter the wars and you can use extra fighters in the war as well guys um, even if they are busy training or doing something else all it is is a drag and drop to the thing and it doesn't move them out of the room um, so just please remember that you can always use extra fighters in war especially if it allows you to you might as well here's a great example though you don't want to use somebody without armor say you have no extra guy with armor and you throw like a cook in there or something it's really not gonna help you um, you're better off leaving him out and I'll tell you why because the resurrecting from your mages is gonna be constantly trying to keep up with him getting hit once and going down um, that it's never gonna get the, the important tanks when they go down or anybody else so it's really important that you remember that um, definitely make sure that they have armor on if you're gonna add another person all right and so we, we went over the valor um, let's go over the wars kind of so each war when it starts off you have um, a bunch of different posts and there's probably it varies I've noticed there's been like five sometimes there were seven sometimes there was twelve or ten um, really my strategy so far is with the little ones when there's only like five or seven of them I like to still spread out but I'm more focused on piling up in a couple of areas uh, at least two or three of them have to be like really strong um, I won't always go after the ones that supply the most valor because obviously everybody's gonna be drilling for them and uh, I wouldn't want to see you know it's strategic you know it depends on what your clans like if you've got a heavy hitter so you can stick in there go for it um, however right now we're lacking a few people so again if you are watching this and you need a clan to help out and get these rewards um, we are doing really well we're getting about 20 to 25 people in each war um, but we could use more right so if you guys are looking for a clan I know we got at least 10 spots open so come on over to Nova USA and join us um, so if you do move up and you do have like 12 locations 10 or 12 locations that's when I like to stick everybody somewhere um, at least two people in every single spot so that way um, when it starts usually not every spot was took from everybody's clan so sometimes you might only be up against one person uh, one clan or even better nobody went there at all only your clan did and you win the post automatically so that's plus and I've been getting a lot of those as well 
Um, so, <clears throat> shoot, I didn't mean to do that. No, stay. All right, and what else? So we can go over. Where's my clan hall? There it is. So, <clears throat> then we go over these rewards. Um, these rewards, these chests right here, are gonna be for your entire clan. So if you accumulate the amount of points, your clan will, will get this chest. And it's gonna reset every two weeks, um, is what they're, they're quoting. So every two weeks, you'll get, this bar will reset, and you'll get another chance to get more, um, you know, more loot out of these chests. My team right now, with six days remaining, I think we're probably gonna hit this uh, epic chest at least. Um, if not, maybe even the legendary. That would be nice, right? Um, again, that's for the entire clan, and it gets distributed at the end of the two week period. Um, it, you don't get it right away as soon as you accumulate the points. Everybody thought that Everybody was blaming the leaders and the co-leaders for hogging the loot because it kind of says right here um, that items obtained from a chest will have to be distributed by the clan leader or the deputy leader when the accumulation period is over. Again, that's a mystery right now because we haven't gotten through a whole accumulation period. What happens when six days is over? Do I have to give everybody that loot? Do I have to distribute it equally? Do I have to pick my favorites? I don't know. I'm hoping that's not the case because that would be really cruel and I feel like it's gonna set up a lot of clans to fail. Um, and it just doesn't seem fair. I don't feel like that would be um, accurate for them to do. If everybody in the clan gets one of these chests, that's a little bit better. I don't want to favor people. That's not what I want to do at all. Um, if you click down here, you can earn your own personal reward. Um, to participate in the distribution of clan rewards and get a personal reward, you need to accumulate 20,000 Valor. Not that difficult. It's actually really easy to do. Maybe a couple wars under your belt. Just even attacking people can get you that. Um, it can be obtained from assaults on other players, tournaments, and even the clan wars, like I said. Um, if you leave the clan, the glory you accumulated will be lost. Keep that in mind, guys. I know it sucks, and this is a bad time to be jumping clans, but if you are looking for a clan that's active and is going to be getting more rewards than some others, we are open. You guys are more than welcome. Come, come get in the home, homestead, man. So I'm about 6,000 away, 5,000 away from getting this reward. Um, I'll make sure to hold on to the chest to show you guys what I get. And um, we'll also be going over, you know, uh, these chests as well. And I'll save those ones as well for you guys. Um, so another thing I want to go over in the war is the glory that you can that you have to get to win obviously the most posts that you hold the more glory you get the person the clan with the most glory wins um that's the whole thing so really again my strategy is to spread out if there's a lot of places if there's not a lot of places i'll kind of stack up in certain areas um if your clan leader or your you know deputy leader um is active they're moving people around, they're checking it, making sure that everybody's in the right spot, then you guys are doing well, hopefully you're winning. If not, you know, you might want to reconsider your clan, because um, really a lot of these clan wars fall back on the leader, moving people around, making sure they're in the right places and telling people where to go. Um, that's important. So over here we have, what are we going to call it? Um, Oh, this is the, uh, see, we won this one. I'll show you show you guys how we won this, all right? We ended up getting four places. Now, I'll tell you, at least one of these places, I think it was Eye of the Enchantress, we didn't even battle anybody. We won that position just because there was somebody in our clan there, and nobody else went there, which was awesome. 
Um, we ended up winning Knights, um, Treachery of the Kings, and Trial Trail. Um, so we killed it. And we ended up getting 7,000 altogether, which was great. So um, we went to the results here. Obviously, it gave us 28,000 Valor for winning. That's awesome, right? Because we got 35,000 total, which added to our accumulation here um, and has put us up so close to getting that next chest. Uh, I'm thinking that the war that we're about to go into will probably get this. Um, again, guys, keep in mind, this is all trial and error. You guys are going to fail a couple of times. It's going to take some struggle, but you guys are going to get used to it. And eventually, everybody's going to be in on it, especially if you've got a good amount of people joining into your war. Um, like I said, we've got about 20 people at least every single time playing. So that's helpful. We've got a lot of good people. Um, and I just, I love the clan. Uh, I know a lot of you are on my YouTube channel and showing me support, which is awesome. Rock on. And also, you know, you guys love these videos because I break this stuff down for you and I make it a little bit simple for you to understand. Um, when you're in the clan war battles, um, another thing, a little tip that I would give to you is um, try to stack up almost evenly, almost like maybe a good player and then a not so good player, then a good player and then a not so good player, or even not so good to the best at the bottom. You don't want your best guy first. I know it sounds weird. Why would you do that? But here's the thing, as the battles go on, if you watch them, um, every time they beat a team and they move up to the next person, um, they lose 10% attack power. So basically, say they had you know, somebody really strong and they took out four people and the fifth guy on our team was left. Um, they're gonna have minus 40% attack power fighting your last best guy. He's got now a lot better of a chance to take that dude out and push them back and maybe even win it. So that's what a lot of clans are doing now, but the, a lot of people are catching on to this. They weren't ca catching on at first. They were putting their, their best guy in first and uh, they were drilling it and they weren't getting the results that they were looking for. Uh, I, I noticed it right away. I started editing in about the second or third war that we've done and it's been working ever since. So don't set your best guy first, set him up last. Let them burn through um, a couple of the ones that they can destroy easily and then that last guy is going to easily wipe them out with the minus, you know, 10%, 20%, 30% attack power that they have. Um, so that's one more thing that you guys should, you know, definitely keep in mind. Another big thing with these uh, these PvP battles like this, guys, we're not up against the computer. Um, so some of your gear and your armor and stuff, uh, you know, is designed for PV PvP. So the skeleton armors, those are huge in PvP. I suggest if you have them, use them. Even if they drop your guy a couple thousand points, use them anyway. Because the accumulation of people on that front line pushing is going to help you guys in your wars. Um, use your resurrects, use your restores, whatever, you, if you have a res wall, a restore wall, um, or even, like I said, the skeleton armors, use them. To play the wars like you're playing a tournament, you want the best strategic way. All your... Um, your artifacts, use all those, all the daggers and stuff that have the special tournament abilities. Those are all PvP weapons. Those are the ones that you want to be using, especially in these wars, because that's really important. You're not playing against computer, so they're not easily taken out by the regular gear that you can just get out of your chests. Unfortunately, it's just the way the cookie crumbles, guys. I don't know. Well, I think we've pretty much gone over everything here. Um, I can't really think of much else because they've got more coming in this update. Again, who knows when that could be. These people like to drag their ass. Oh my god. Waited weeks for this update. Sorry for the lateness on this video, guys, but that's what it was. It was this update took so long. <sighs> now we have to wait again for item enhancement. Um, there's going to be territories, clan territories. I don't know what the heck that's all about, but I guess we're going to be able to like take over areas and recruit certain people, I, I don't know. Um, 
another video will be following up on that one and we'll be able to go over any of that um, I will be making another video soon guys we'll be doing a chest opening of all these chests that we get through these wars um, hopefully I can get the legendary one I'm hoping um, other than that I mean it's pretty much it you guys are awesome and don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to hit subscribe um, I love you guys' support. Don't forget to comment below. Tell me if anything helped. Tell me if I forgot something or I missed something. Um, I can always add it into the next video. And again, you know, if you guys are looking for a home, come join us. I would love to have you be a part of the team. Nova USA. Just meet the requirements. Um, or you can message me on here. And if, you know, if I feel like you are just right there, I can add you into the clan myself. Um, send you an invite. So again, keep up the hard work, guys. Keep hustling on. And uh, I'll see you guys real soon for this chest opening. Peace out.